we've made it to the semi-finals of Dragon December. And it's a little different than a lot of people probably would have expected it to look. But we have Blue Eyes White Dragon versus the Winged Dragon of Ra. What a little side of Cypher. It's going to be an interesting day. Red Eyes were knocked out of the tournament round one. Dragoon dethroned. Things are weird. But hey. Yep. Yeah, see how it, it goes. It's, yeah. The massively powerful Red Dragon Archfiend were defeated by Stardust to move forward. Stardust now strong enough to really be a contender. And Albaz, the counter all to any deck, was beat by the Winged Dragon of Ra. Hey, weird things happen in Yu-Gi-Oh sometimes. This is a tournament for fun, not for deciding what's actually the best deck objectively. So, who knows? Winged Dragon of Ra could take it all. Do we think it will? No, but it could. Three disciples yeah, out here right certainly, now. Yeah, that is certainly for sure. I mean, for a fact, imagine they make imagine Winged Dragon Raw is this dragon champion of this, of twenty twenty one. Okay, this is a bit of a weird hand, but you know, things happen sometimes. You know, it's cool. It's cool. Um, ooh, just because of that, we might do that. Yeah, we're gonna do that. And funny enough, I end my turn. Boom. We both play slow today, Mario. Yeah, let me see. We play weird. <laughs> Slide for the Ooh, sky ho, 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 baby. It's not super powerful yet, but that's going to be annoying. Ooh, and fresh material for later. Mm-hmm. Okay. I Two forgot you couldn't go then. into the into the big old boy using this at the beginning, so. Yeah, you got to do it when you uh. Well, you got to put him out first, rather. Mm -hmm. But now, your things will be hampered mm -hmm. in power. Okay, we're gonna start with the trade in. Toss the blue eyes by dragging to the grave. Let's do it. We opened up with two trade ins. Fantastic. <laughs> trade in again. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Get Levian here out of here. It's too early for him. And perfect. We have Melody of Awakening Dragon, and we searched Whitestone Legend last turn. So that's a plus three. Um, we God, will go if I for... was playing any, if I was playing any kind of banishing card, you'd be hating. Right yeah, now. for sure. Oh darn it! I just added a blue eyes. I didn't need him. That's fine. We'll do that. That's kind of cool. And I guess we just do this whilst we can. Boom. That comes out. He has dropped to a thousand. Um, but we can target and destroy that guy. Cannot do it yeah, to this life. Yeah. Um, we will then return to the Dragon Lords. Get this blue eyes out on the field. And last time we played with him, we used a lot of the uh, XZs and cool side stuff with it. This time. Well, I know the secret. I just have to go and take your, uh, your Tyrant Dragon. Mm -hmm. and take control of it we're gonna do that that and that to bring ourselves i got the power um what is this oh yeah activate that Plus destroy. And... oh i can't even lower its attack points no i guess i kill it before that happens so because that was the effect of my fusion card not of my monster and we proceed you have a god, I have a Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. And what is his effect again? I don't use him that often, I'll be honest. Let's see. When he does that, attacks, so you can send a Blue Eyes Fusion Monster from the extra deck to the graveyard, and he can attack again. Oh. Uh, Are you just win right here? Uh, uh, well, I believe so. When I wish that the other they went the other way around, where your monster got lowered. <laughs> yeah, that would make the difference right there. Um, but we did get to see Slifer, which I'm pretty excited about. Unfortunately, against the raw power of a Blue Eyes, his uh, drop you down by 2,000 isn't going to be the end of the world. However, even um, if you bring Ra out, uh, he'll have the power to take on 45,000 or 4,500. You want first or second? I'll take first. first. Okay. You know what card would have definitely helped me? Which the one? card that saved you during your during your duel against Albaz. Which one was that? The uh, field, spe the oh, uh, the field, huge. That would have definitely helped me. Yeah, blue eyes are full of target and destroy. 
at least this version is. Because mm -hmm. then you would have had to uh, do multiple attacks Yep. on uh, different monsters. Absolutely. And alternative doesn't target the spell card, so I can't just pop them out of the bound. Huh. What do you okay. got? Mm. It's not uncommon for the uh, raw deck that you just kind of set yourself up for the next turn. <laughs> but All right. I'm going to normal summon my raw okay. disciple again. Be consistently with that. Fair enough. Honestly, I think the Ra's Disciple might be my least favorite summoning mechanic of the deck. Obviously, it's thematically beautiful, and it works if you have uh, that, for example. Works rather nicely if you have that, because now you could summon on turn one. Yep. But if you don't Fortune. have all that, it's not that fantastic. All right, here's the mistake you did. Um, after you use Ancient Chant to search your Winged Dragon of Ra, activate it from Graveyard, and you'd also get 300 or 3,300 from the uh, Ra Disciples. Oh. Yeah. That being said, yeah, well, now it's kind of too late. It's all right. Uh, you still have more attack than I can ever hope to field. I'm yeah, gonna if I would have to hit you by an effect regardless. Mm hmm. Uh. Just in case. Mm hmm. That's just sad, though. Can you alternate me? Yeah, we just opened up alternate here. That's why I need the field spell. Because the mm -hmm. protection you had. The reason you won against Albas is because you had the field protection going. It was I pretty could not huge. target. You know, I want this to be spicier, though. So we're going we're gonna to pop that. We're going to let him stay out for a moment. Uh, Jet Dragon gets to come out since someone was destroyed. And let's see. Is there anything tremendously spicy? Yeah, let's just be mean to you. I should should have used that first, but it's <laughs> my wing dragon of Ra with. <laughs> oh, I only get three thousand. Oh yeah, because he copies that. Okay. Um. Well, yeah. Oh jeez, and I'm down to one hundred life points. Yep. I don't believe I can attack this round. But. You know, just stealing your Wing Dragon of Ra felt savage enough for me to do. So I did it. And... Oh wait, can this boy attack? I don't know how this game it works. <laughs> the rematch? We can run, run another. It's cool. Uh, <laughs> this is a weird Dragon December, man. Yeah, you don't ha You can say that again. <laughs> I've, and I've still haven't drawn the field spell. Something that would greatly help me against you. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Extravagance is always good. He begins his setup. Places down a uh, <laughs> pretty much a mirror of last turn, I imagine. Yeah, word for word, honestly. All right. Now just make sure before you summon, activate from the graveyard. Um, I do have alternative in hand, but I don't have a blue eyes in hand, so we won't see exactly the same thing go down. And then you do can either choose to spend or not. Up to you. 3,300 yeah. beats an average blue eyes does not beat an average ultimate. What are the chances you get an ultimate out, though? I did it um, that one round, first chance I had, but second round did not have the ability to do so. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say no because there's the chance that you won't be able to. And I respect that. that for a turn one play. When you don't have protection and you're just summoning it, what what good is 10,000 life attack points on the field gonna do you? Yeah. You know that's, that's that rush duel mentality. It's all this stuff I have on the field. Yeah, that changes quick. Uh, so, honestly, not a lot to go on here. Let's see. This. Um, why can I not use that? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, cause I'm in standby phase. Wait, no, I'm not. Well, either way, Apparition comes out, because we can, and sure. Oh, because you're not a dragon tuner, duh. Let me just, let me just uh, do my, I just need one more second to do my, oh. And with the set of cards I do have, I can manage to get my alternative playoff. Uh, so I'm going to do it, just to justify your choice to not spend all those life points, because you would have lost. Um, but yeah, Sage gets me that, that gets me a blue eyes. And we are looking good. In fact, we're looking quite good. We're going to bring out said alternative. 
I bet Beck is just playing marvelously today. We're going to Melody now. Before anything, we're going to send Jet Dragon to the graveyard so we can get his additional effect. And we're going to add to my hand an additional Blue Eyes White Dragon. And then we're going to activate, as expected, destroy. It is what it is. Jet Dragon comes out. I hate that I have not drawn and the oh, field. It is unfortunate. And then, just to be savage, we are going to switch back into hand. Oh, we could just switch the Sage back into hand. I guess, yeah, that's a more fun play. We do that. And then, Blue Eyes White Dragon comes out. And we can even activate Sage to add another tuner to our hand, which we don't exactly need right now. Um, what is some other additional stuff we could do? Um, gee, I don't know. Let's see, target one effect monster you control, send it to the graveyard, special summon a blue eyes from the deck. I don't really need anything else, and obviously I have the win on the field right now. But just to put it in perspective, I also have a Return of the Dragon Lords and a uh, Chaos Dragon Levianir in hand, so if this wasn't turned to, this could have gone a lot further. Um, that being said, I don't win this round, because if I attack, there's a 3,000 defense point monster sitting on the field. So, uh, just because this is in the deck and I don't have it set up properly, and I want to see what it does... Let's see. Dur, 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 dur. We're just going to go for it. We're going to send Jet Dragon and White Dragon away. To get Jagublion. Jagublion, rather. And yeah, I don't have any activations for it. Normally, that does a play which lets you summon out a much stronger monster, but I don't have it set up properly in this deck, and I keep running it. Uh, it works with level 8 decks, but this deck is uh, a mix of fusion and the old ways so I don't have it all completely uh, set up and optimized uh, but that being said maybe I just attack and uh, see what happens next because well we know it's about to happen we know it's likely about to happen it could be something else entirely what does this have to do after it attacks oh it's not the same thing as last time okay couldn't attack with alternative though so it's not that crazy but, you know, less life points for a raw deck is less attack points for a raw. Well, finally drew it. Yep. A little late, but let's see if he can rebound. Ooh, beautiful. That was, well, Return of the Dragon Lords, which isn't bad to have in the graveyard. But I wanted to use Operation to continuously get back my alternative. So nothing yeah. in my graveyard. Oh, well. <laughs> There's no good choices here. And honestly, in that deck, I don't run the uh, Monster Reborn Raw combo just because it's so inconsistent. There is like the special. You didn't even give me the option to bring out. Well, yeah, raw. because there's a special card where if you play this card and you then have certain things going on, then you can use a Monster Reborn on Raw. So it's just way too situational and more than often a dead draw. So I do not play it. And since you did the uh, bringing out Ra's Disciple first to the field, you cannot use Reactor Slime because that requires special summoning if non Divine Monsters. Yeah, because for some reason I thought you had a regular Blue Eyes in your graveyard. Oh no, I do not. He got sent back. Or he is uh, material for Dragoobleon right now. I was planning on just crashing into your alternate. Yeah. Um, but, let's see. Let's run the play back again. Unfortunately, I won't be able to repeat it because no Apparition. But we normal summon Sage. This time I only run one copy of the uh, White Stone of Legends, so we won't be doing that exact play. But we will be doing this, getting myself even more to work with. And we'll get this and this because those are cards I don't currently have at my disposal. We'll bring out uh, yet another alternative. Why not? Show you my blue eyes. It's it's just running marvelously. Right now. It's th the way these matchups work. <laughs> Jeez do that um we will then destroy this before battle phase so we don't have to contend with that jet dragon then comes out as well and activate that to destroy that They're not level 10 so they will not be protected by the anti-targeting effects and just because actually we don't have uh, many other forms of summoning so let's just let's just finish it off okay Rawr. Ooh. Ah, draining shield. Very nice. He lives. Because I didn't use my alternatives into something else, because I feel a little bad right now, that's why. Um, we'll go into Spirit Dragon. I don't think there's any single card in this deck that can win anyway. 
I don't think so. There's yeah. uh, the exchanging souls in there, but I think you need the raw in the first place to make that work. Yeah, I haven't drawn any of those cards. All I drew the last three duels was the base cards, and he saw I was drawing a lot of the same thing. Mm -hmm. Oop, accidentally uh, doing this instead of using my white stone of ancients, but that's fine. Multiple effects I cannot be doing. But yeah, big uh, scary field. And you know what? Why not? We'll we'll make it even scarier. Um, rawr. By doing that and actually keeping that guy out because we know he's great. And we'll just use those two for this. Oh, so I can't play spells now. Fine. <laughs> I mean, we, we know it's not going to work out for you. I'm just making oh, a big it's been cool turn one. <laughs> Soul exchange. Could he's one of your big old scary monsters? Yeah, when you were doing it with the uh, disciples. Yeah. What's snare? Now we switch out spirit dragon. We don't need his uh, graveyard prevention. We just need the free summon off as your. Um. Hey, you want to trade him? And just to add more to it, um, what happens when I activate this? Oh, yes. Send that guy right back, and ooh, free. And we got Apparition, but we don't have any cards in hand anyway. So, uh, <laughs> a battle. Um, use Jet Dragon. I don't think I can use Jet Dragon. Oh, wait, no, that would have just got me a dragon. Okay, yeah, we get, we get it. Blue Eyes win. We get it. That was so sad to do. We just talked about Ra having a chance in here, man. I'm sorry, yeah. Mario. It's 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 the luck of it. It you had yeah, there was bad luck with it. Yeah, you had um you were able to draw the field spell almost turn one every duel during uh mm -hmm. during the which prevents targeting, which was yeah. the key thing. But I didn't when I. When I needed the field spell, it didn't show up. Until... Yeah, I don't think the complaint is that, um, you know, Ra deserved to win this duel, but Albaz deserved to win the previous duel against Ra. Yeah, that's so, kind of fair, honestly. Yeah. Hey, maybe if you guys want, let us know in the comments. We'll see an Albaz versus Blue Eyes as a bit of a what if video later on. We already know there's one of them because we accidentally missed it a recording. So, there's a lot of what if scenarios going on in this whole you thing. Don't have to tell, you don't have to tell them. <laughs> I, they're, they're gonna see it afterwards i didn't tell them what it is but hey <laughs> you know there we go um but yeah i guess this has happened uh we're very much apologize to the wing dragon of rob but moving on to the finals we have blue eyes i'm sure tons of people are happy about that um they will be going up against either stardust or arm dragon thunder next time i don't think blue eyes have made it this far which all the more you know credit to the new fusion stuff good job to them Leave a like yeah, on this video if you haven't joined. The, we're not just relying on the ritual stuff, so. Yeah, ritual's so much easier to do. Like, I'm misplaying left and right as I play this deck, but it's good, obviously. So, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next Dragon December video, and we will see you then. See you, folks.